Welcome to Olan TV News. I am Hassan Bangura. But first, the headlines. 5050 Group has demanded actions against cyberbullying targeting women in power and influence. And the U.S. government considering visa restriction to election workers in Sierra Leone. Now the news in details. The 5050 Group is an organization established to promote welfare of women in Sierra Leone, has issued an urgent call to trash cyberbullying against female political leaders and election observers in the country, especially following the just concluded June 24 national elections. As an organization dedicated to promote gender parity in political and public arena, express its concern about the increase in cyber attack and personalized threats targeting women in position of power and influence. The 5050 Sierra Leone believes short step of harmful behaviors not only undermines the contributions made by these women, but can also deter others from participating in politics and other works of life, thereby limiting their representation and the benefits of diverse and inclusive governance. They emphasize the importance of making social media platforms and online forum spaces for positive engagement. It, they call all citizens to promptly report any instance of cyberbullying or online harassment they encountered. The 5050 group also urged the general public to embrace respectful dialogues and different views or opinions can be expressed through constructive dialogues rather than than sorting to threat and bullying. In addition to that, the group called for a celebration towards the contributions of women in politics and elections in advocating for greater representation of women in leadership position. They strongly believe that a thriving democracy is dependent on the active participation and engagement of all citizens regardless of gender. The 5050 group mission includes increasing the level of female participation in politics, public affairs, ensuring equivalence in local councils, parliaments, cabinet ministers, and other state decision making institutions with a provision of leadership training and literacy classes for women throughout the country. In another news, the US government considering visa restriction to election workers in Sierra Leone. The United States of America government may be considering imposing visa restrictions on individuals believed to have undermined the democratic process to the just concluded elections in Sierra Leone. In a tweet on Wednesday by US Senator Jim Rees, a ranking member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. The United States was closely watching developments in Sierra Leone, including elections-related violence, intimidation of observers, and the Electoral Commission's non-transparent vote tallying and results analysis. His comment follows the declaration of the presidential election results on Tuesday in favor of the incumbent president, Julius Madabio, of the Sierra Leone's People's Party, SLPP, defeating Dr. Samura Kamara of the main opposition party, APC. The main opposition's leader, Dr. Samura Kamara, and his APC party have refused to accept the result, describing it as a daylight robbery. Many international elections observer also highlighted problems with transparency in the talent process of the elections results, including the National Elections Watch, new that deploy observers in all polling stations across the country. A Washington-based pro-democracy and human rights activist, Jeffrey Smith, and the U.S. Ambassador to Sierra Leone, Ambassador David Weiner, also tweeted on Tuesday saying, the United States government will not endorse the Sierra Leone president's election and Washington new interest in the election's outcome, underscoring the importance of the results accurately reflecting the will of the Sierra Leonean people. On Wednesday, Senator Jim confirmed Washington's interest in Sierra Leone's election affirming the U.S. government decision to hold accountable those who undermine the country's democratic process. If 
His statement is anything to go by. There are speculations that the United States may be looking into the same approach in Sierra Leone as done in Nigeria and other African states. The imposition of visa restrictions on individuals believed to have undermined Sierra Leone's democratic process will show a clear picture of the United States undergoing commitment to support democracy and the rule of law in Sierra Leone. To end up the news, 5050 Group has demanded actions against cyberbullying targeting women in power and influence or influential women and the U.S. government considering visa restriction to elections regards in Sierra Leone. That's the end of the news. Thanks for watching Roland Key Television. Don't forget to subscribe to our Facebook, on YouTube, and on our Twitter, Roland Key TV, and our Facebook page, Roland Key Media Corporation. Thanks for watching. I am Hassan Bangura. Stay connected to all Roland K media platforms, our website www.wlandkmedia.com for more news updates. Thanks for watching.